His Excellency Dr. Sri Dr. Mustafa Muhammad, Minister in the Prime Minister's Department, Mr. Chan Kong, founder of Enbound, Dr. Richard Boyd, founding principal of eConsult Solutions, Ms. Yi Wang, head of global development program Enbound, Dr. Ong Chong Yi, regional chief representative of Enbound in ASEAN. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning to all of you. On behalf of the Associated Chinese Chamber of Commerce and Industry of Malaysia, ACCCIM, I would like to express my gratitude to our guest of honor, His Excellency Dr. Sri Dr. Mustafa Muhammad, for attending today's event. I would also like to extend my sincere appreciation to Mr. Chan Kong, who will be delivering his keynote speech shortly, as well as to our distinguished speakers for today, Dr. Richard Voigt and Ms. Yi Wang. Ladies and gentlemen, what is digital transformation? And more importantly, are we ready for it? These questions are not ones we can ignore. For while there is no doubt that the COVID-19 pandemic has presented severe public health challenges and devastating economic and social disruptions, the pandemic has also given us a unique opportunity to rethink the role of digital technology in our lives. In this COVID-19 era, digitalization has shown great potential in terms of transferring urban activities and interactions from physical space to digital environments. These changes are here to stay, and it is clear that facing challenges related to health, society, and the environment will be crucial in the coming years to help shape the future digital city. In essence, this push towards digitalization is a move towards creating smarter cities, ones that are able to harness emerging technologies such as the internet, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and big data. The ultimate goal is to make cities more livable, more workable, and more sustainable. It is obvious that the pandemic has dramatically increased the speed at which digital innovation is transforming businesses. We can see examples of this everywhere, from online food delivery apps to meetings being conducted in virtual rooms. Retailers with only physical stores and without access to e-commerce capabilities have been left behind. Perhaps one of the biggest changes has been the switch to remote working. The prolonged COVID-19 pandemic has altered attitudes towards office work. Non-essential, close proximity jobs have come under scrutiny and it is highly likely that this trend of working remotely will continue. The implication upon post-pandemic business models cannot be overemphasized. Ladies and gentlemen, let's consider the impact of remote working, for example, upon, upon real estate management. Before the pandemic, there was already a glut of commercial office space in this city. The pandemic has worsened the situation and challenged the current practice of long-term leases. After all, Businesses that have seen employee productivity maintain or even increase as a result of remote working will begin to question why an expensive office space is required at all. Additionally, COVID-19 safety measures have placed additional cost pressure on building operators and owners. The pandemic will have a last, lasting impact on commercial real estate ROI. It is important that real estate businesses examine the balance between what appears to be a lasting shift towards remote working and the advantages of a physical workplace. They need to determine the role of digital technology in helping bringing back tenants. New operating and business models are required. In fact, it is highly likely that a hybrid model featuring being in the office for important physical meetings and remote working will become a new normal. Hence, most businesses need to evaluate the effects of such a working model on important elements such as team collaborations, customer engagement, employee performance, and employee psychological issues. To be successful, corporations must learn to leverage on digital collaboration tools and platforms to reshape teamwork structures 
and formulate new customer engagement strategies. But there are also benefits to be had from this shift towards remote working. For instance, the digitalization of records from phone conversations to customer engagement can indirectly create a new competitive edge for businesses. The remote working style will also attract new talent previously unable to physically be at the office. The environment also benefits from this. Traffic has reduced during the pandemic, thus improving air quality and consequently the health of the city dwellers. Ladies and gentlemen, other than the expansion of remote working, the COVID-19 pandemic will also be remembered as a driver behind the accelerated adoption of the online marketplace. Consumers have embraced the digital market, not only to assess non-perishable products and services, but many are now purchasing fresh local produce online to be delivered to their homes. Post-pandemic, the online marketplace is here to stay. The combination of physical stores and online space will help deliver a more seamless online to offline customer experience. This expands profitability as business is then conducted on a 24-7 basis and no longer restricted to the operating hours of a physical shop. Businesses need to change their mindset as the online marketplace is one that rewards customer-centric strategies, quick reaction to customer demands and openness to experimentation. The challenge is in helping local SMEs adapt to this new way of doing business in a sustainable manner. Ladies and gentlemen, the pandemic has also exposed the problem of relying solely on hospital-based care. Many countries did not have sufficient hospital beds for COVID patients. Worry about the safety of clinics and hospitals, other patients were forced to delay seeking treatment. In the US, this has resulted a push towards adopting in-home care alternatives, as well as a multi-channel approach towards health care. The first half of 2020 saw a record US dollar 5.4 billion in venture funds flowing into digital healthcare companies, with on-demand healthcare services as a top funded value proposition. The race is on the on the race is on to deliver integrated physical and virtual healthcare to consumers. With the adoption of technology, healthcare can be delivered remotely through wearable and connected devices with real-time data providing timely intervention to save lives. This could be our next line of defense against another pandemic. Ladies and gentlemen, it is clear that the changes affecting work locations, marketplaces and healthcare are only part of the cha challenges we face moving towards creating an effective digital city. Most cities are currently focusing their resources on their immediate response to COVID-19. While this is critical, we must also pay attention to how these actions align with the future goals. As we slowly emerge from the immediate crisis, we need to grasp this unique opportunity to insert digital initiatives into business design, development, operation and maintenance of our cities. To create a smart city means creating a more resilient, adaptable and intelligent one. We need secure, stable communications infrastructure since this is vital to support the diverse spectrum of activities that have been forced online. We need to exploit big data combined with smart city technologies and applications to boost efficiency and strengthen knowledge-based decision-making. We need to redesign cities from a holistic perspective. Post-pandemic, we must prioritize investments on urban infrastructure and development projects that can react effectively to disasters, climate change, as well as to possible future pandemics. Above all, we need to challenge the status quo and fundamentally change how we think how we live and how we operate businesses. Ladies and gentlemen, I strongly believe that by utilizing data and digital technologies, we can create thriving cities while adopting a human-centered design approach. We must remember a city only becomes smart when it manages to pursue technology in a way that not only 
leads to sustainable economic growth, but also to a high quality of life for its people. In conclusion, there are clearly unlimited possibilities that lay ahead of us, even as we navigate through this COVID-19 pandemic. This is a global opportunity to adapt collectively and look towards the creation of a digital sustainable society. In other words, not just a brave new world, but a smart, brave new world. Thank you very much.